All right, welcome everybody. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of plier designs that I really just don't get. Every time I've tried to use these two styles, it pretty much ends in failure and I end up using a different tool to do the same thing. So first thing we'll talk about here is the Kinepex Raptor. So this is really advertised as a kind of a smooth jaw plier, very similar to the Cobra. But it has kind of these three points of contact that you're supposed to use on hex bolts. I went and I watched the Real Tour Views video on this multiple times to try to see if I could understand what I'm doing wrong here. And I try to use this. So I think the last time I tried to use this was on a chain link fence. There's a lot of these uh, galvanized bolts throughout that hold the, you know, the, the vertical bars that hold the uh, fabric, the fence fabric in. So I was like, oh, I'll go out, go out there and I'll tighten these with these because there's a couple different sizes in there. I just didn't feel like I could get enough torque. A couple of times it slipped, even when it was in this position. And I think that may be because the gaps here are a little bit too large to uh, for certain sizes, especially some imperial sizes. The classic example they give of why these are greater advantage or is using this is the Knipex test fixture and what they say you can kind of ratchet but I'll tell you it doesn't feel very secure remember there's not enough there's not really a lot of torque it takes to turn this so yeah, using the old classic adjustable wrench I guess it does they could save you a little bit of time because you don't have to do this. But if they call these nut rounders, I can't imagine what they call these because it feels so easy. It feels like it wouldn't take much for this to slip. It just doesn't feel secure and the times that I've used it it has slipped especially on larger bolts when you need to put some torque on them. It kind of surprised me they even have that product because they got the pliers wrench which does a heck of a better job and, and also has the ratcheting feature. So that feels so much more secure than the Raptor did. And I think part of it is because you don't have the parallel closing action that you do with the pliers wrench on this one. You got very little contact here. So that's basically all that you're turning on when you're using the Cobras. It's just this little piece right here. And you can see for larger sizes, the amount of contact area is even smaller. So I just don't get these this design. And I haven't I've been trying to find other people who've done reviews on these, and I think real tool reviews is the only one I've seen. So if anybody has any experience using these, let me know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I just don't know how to use them. But for now, I would recommend getting these over the over the Raptors. So the other plier design I really don't get is these NWS Power Max. So I think that these were really designed to compete with the pliers wrench. As you can see, they got the smooth jaws. But they don't open parallel like the pliers wrench does. You can see the pliers wrench has a it opens parallel using this cam feature. The NWS doesn't have such a feature, so you almost have to have it as like a perfect fit to use these. And you can see it's slipping. So I know what you're thinking, why don't you go one size smaller? Now you can't grip on it at all. So part of it might be that these these emplacements are way too far apart. 16 millimeters and then the next step here is uh, 21 millimeters so That's a pretty big step between uh, increments. So 
So it could be that it only will work on certain certain size bolts. So yeah, there might be some sizes that it kind of works on, but uh, I don't know. I just don't get this one either. And I couldn't find any reviews out there on this. So maybe that's why. So I really wanted to compare these two, you know, in a matchup or a showdown. But really, there isn't even a conversation right now as to why you should buy the NWS over the Kinepex pliers wrench. There are a couple other brands that, uh, you know, have the pliers wrench capability. And you got the Viha. I think Stalvilla has one. So we'll take a look at those a little bit closer. But so in my opinion, this design really should have never gotten out of the prototyping phase. And yes, yeah, for the Kinepex Raptors, I think this was more of a, uh, a cart, you know, cart before the horse type of deal when they were designing this. They came up with a kind of a new design and they had to think of wh what they could use this for, what applications. I just really haven't found an application where this would be suitable over any other tool. So what are you guys' opinions on these two? I know, I'm sure a lot of people have the Kinepex Raptors, but I've never seen anybody actually using one other than in the real tool reviews video. So let me know what you guys think. I may end up actually doing a review on these. I just haven't had a chance to really apply them or use them in any useful way. It's kind of hard to evaluate them when you can't really find an application to use them in. So we'll, we may take a closer look at that in the future. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this week. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I'll catch you guys next time.